Welcome to the Mischief, I'm Belen, and this is Automaton. Today, I'll be thanking Zavira, one of our patrons. Thank you very much for your support. But also, <laughs> I'll be, kind of snuck that in there, uh, we'll be traveling around with our new airship, the Mischief One, which is not, like, fantastic by any means. It's, it's a complete tier one setup. Um, but I do have lots of uh, fuel at this point. I figure I should be able to get around to a few places. Uh, looking on Journey Map, there are some interesting spots nearby. Let's see. Uh, recently, I went around here. I figured we, we've got this nearby. We've got this nearby. I also have my warp stone if I do run out of fuel, so I can always teleport back. It's no big deal. And yes, I did kind of start putting a, a base floor for the second floor. This is definitely not going to be where it's at. I, I think I think I'm I'm going to extend this corner out again, like here, but I'm actually going to have this be an interior section. Uh, so it's like a, a hanging over stilted house, and, and I might even expand out a layer on some of this so that it overhangs the lower layer and is a bigger workspace, because I think we're going to need it for all the uh, machines we have. And I don't know if I'm going to be building up or out or what, but either way, it's a start. And I can get up through uh, some scaffolding. I did replace a little bit down here just with some regular scaffolds. Ouch. Uh, as you can see, I put like some of the uh, steel wall mounts. And I did start on the basement a little bit. It's very dark down here, but that's kind of what I wanted. Um, I figure it's, it'll do for now. I might change my mind on it, but these candles, the quart candles, they're just really nice. Uh, I might switch them up for some different colors. Oh, and I did find some really interesting stuff. I didn't even realize that the ceramics mod was in here. Uh, so if you notice, I've got some color changing rainbow porcelain and you can change it and you can actually chisel and bit that stuff. So you can bet your sweet baby that I'll be putting that somewhere on there today. Uh, but let's see about getting the Mischief One launched and up and around. Uh, let's see if I can do this here. So I've got a maximum uh, height of 225. This actually doesn't seem very fast to me. Oops, and of course I hit sneak. First thing I did. Well, good thing I did it here. <laughs> I need to turn off F7. I might switch my, um, my setup out because I don't think that I really want to go that high. I think 100 is probably going to do. I don't think I'll need to go up to those locations per se. But for now, I think I might land and switch my module out for speed because I would like to get where I'm going a little bit quicker than uh, I haven't passed. And for that to happen, I need to make sure I've got a decent amount of redstone on me just in case so that when I level this thing up, uh, what is it? R, I think. Yep. Upgrade. Customize. Module. There we go. We've got lesser altitude lesser speed okay that is what I wanted now just in case we can put a bunch more in here apply there we are now I feel a little bit better uh, let's try out this increase in speed how much better is it that's not very not that fast not that fast but it's still a little faster actually it's not that bad it's not that bad at all and I mean I'm almost at my ceiling let's go up a little higher you can start seeing things loading in in the distance. Uh, I've got two more blocks of height. There we go. I'm at my maximum height. Oh, look at these arches. Gosh, they're so good. And of course, it's nighttime. <laughs> but let's take a look at the map. Where am I now? Ah, here I am, headed towards the village. Uh, in fact, I want to head over here towards this. So I might do an about face here. Head around this. Actually, let's go down here. This looks really cool. I want to see if I can, like, just fly through this archway. <laughs> Not that I need to. Okay, maybe I do need to. It's 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 me we're talking about here. This just looks really cool. Whoa, cool. Can I make it up over this? Or am I going to run out of space? No, I got it. I got it. We're good. I might take a shortcut over the mountains. I'll be back soon. Oh, look at this. Approaching the base at night. All lit up and everything. Here, let's let's do it without the. Oh, that's really cool. I'm in for landing. Okay. Yeah, I know. I was supposed to like go venture out for stuff, but I realized it's nighttime and I can't see anything. So I might just break this, have a snooze, and then continue on because it's not very far. 
Oh, also, uh, there's something that I did have to cheat in while I'm back home and I think about it. And that is these. The steel scaffolding stairs. If you try making these, it actually tries making some kind of steel scaffolding support. Yeah, one of these is steel structural arms. There you go. Which uses the same stuff of any type. And so what I did is I just threw away the appropriate uh, steel scaffolding uh, so that I could uh, spawn those in, I think. Yeah, I still left it on cheat mode, so forgive me for that one. But I did do that so that I could get those. I think that's just a, uh, a little bit of a conflict of items, something that's very easy to overlook. But now we just head out and let's go check out that place that I, I saw over that way. This is really cool, seeing the shadow of the ship way down below me. <laughs> Just flying over these mountains. Alright, let's take a look at Journey Map and see if I'm actually going in the right way. Kind of am. I need to go this way, though. And there it is, appearing in the distance. What an interesting sight. Whoa. Kind of cool. Oh, and there's that giant... I don't know what that is over there. Structure? <laughs> Tendril? Thing? But I figure we could just land here on the top. Looks like a pretty good landing spot. And we can check this place out. There we go. And we'll just uh, put you in our inventory for now, I guess. This is really interesting. Okay. Let's have a nice explore of this building. What is it? Red terracotta. I actually could use more terracotta. That's not a bad thing to grab along with me. Ooh, is that more terracotta? I think it is. Wait, yeah, cyan terracotta. Strange, but I will tell Hey, oh my goodness. And if you guys hear any strange noises in the background that are not Minecraft noises, that's probably just one of my dogs having a good face rub on their bed. <laughs> it's just how they, how things are going. Oh, wow, that was a lot of terracotta I'm getting there. This is cool because I wanted a bunch of terracotta, actually. And I didn't want to have to use up all of my stores for that. And take these lamps. Take the redstone. This is all just useful stuff here. I'm just pillaging somebody's crypt for all I know. Let some light into the place. It's getting a bit dusty. Oh, cool. This pack's even works on that. Oh, gosh. I can't see anything. Let's get some light down here. Uh, this... This is kind of... Oh, I hate it when you, when there's vines in places like this. How far down does this go? Um... A spawner. Oh! Poison! Okay, poison spiders are the worst spiders. Jeez, because they always get you. You need to stop that. Thank you. Oh boy, there's a lot of problems going on here. I don't know that I'm going to survive this with all the poison that I've got coming in. Good thing I've got some really good food. Uh, so, can I put some torches in there and break that spawner? Yes. Okay, that's not so bad now. Thank you. That was a bit scary. There we go. Might as well just dig the rest of the way in. Anything of note in here? No, I think this just circles around to a spot I've already been to. Yeah. Okay, this is kind of spooky looking. A nice big opening. Grab some more of the terracotta. Oh! Okay. Not, not what I expected at all. In fact, my uh, Paxil is about to die here. It, it's not far off from it. I should probably have uh, repaired it before leaving. But yeah, there's a little bit of light in here. This is just a big... The big entrance. Okay. Cool. Why didn't we make a place like this our, our our base? Interesting. Well, I'm sure that there's something of note down one of these places. Besides, oh, jungle saplings. Really? Really? <laughs> well, now I know where I can find them at least.
Aha! Finally, the first signs of some loot. 20 lips. Some of those really weird books, which I'll, I'll put in the library for a later study, of course. And just some more useful stuff. Don't really need the chests as much. I am grateful that I have the option of turning a light on with my torch on the side here. And yes, I did kind of cheat a little bit in a way. Um, I vein mined my way into the side of this <laughs> just because uh, I kept getting turned around and I was like, you know what? I could probably just carve a chunk into the side, which is kind of what I did. So I just kind of started digging. <laughs> I think this place might have a few other small chests, but I don't think that it has much else to go on. And there goes my Paxel. Oh, it just broke. That is so sad. Probably should have fixed that. Crack stone bricks. Hmm. I don't think I need most of this stuff, in fact. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Keep the regular pick here. It's still <laughs> as good as a regular old sword at the very least. And I just walked up and picked up almost all the stuff. Great. So to get back up top, I think I've got a solution here that might be pretty good. There we go. That's a little bit better. And that is just to use my airship again. <laughs> Fly up out of here. I keep wanting to turn around, but I, I forget that this thing turns with it with like WASD instead. And there's more terracotta and stuff, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I kind of explored this place a bit. It's really cool. I didn't want to... I don't want to just tear it apart like I started to any more than I need to. So let's check out another location. Uh, so I think we had, besides this village, there's like a graveyard up here. So maybe we head northeast. Let's see what we can come up with up there. And it happened. Yep, it totally happened. I pressed sneak and jumped out of my ship. Maybe it's a good thing that I can't fly really, really high with this thing. <laughs> Come here, ship. Oh, you're going to land right there, aren't you? Of course you are. Alright, so I did head back home just so that I could get a snooze real quick. And then I figured we could head over to this graveyard. Now, sometimes there is something of interest here. Most of the time there isn't, though. So let's see. Aha! Ooh. Projectile protection one. The Corinthian. That seems like a keepsake, if anything. <laughs> Cover me with diamonds. That's my first diamond gear. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> All right. Where are we headed to next? Uh, let's head off up to this Aztec temple. That's going to be a bit of a... Bit of, a bit of trouble, I'm sure. Oof. But maybe I'll find something of interest along the way, or, or not. Either way, let's head up there and check it out. And there we have it. Wow, that thing's big. Okay, it's really impressive. <laughs> Just saying. That's really cool with the shaders on. Oh my gosh. So for those that don't know, Kashka and I ended up... Uh, uh, going into one of these things on the uh, Roguelike Adventures in Dungeons pack uh, that we had on in one of our servers. And we made our base up here and then slowly started trying to work our way down. And oh my gosh, there's probably a few hundred mob spawners in this thing. Yeah, I think I've reached my maximum height right here. So let's head over here and sneak out. Break that, pick it up. And then we can head up, give things a look over. Home sweet home. Yeah, it sounds exactly the same too. <laughs> it's just got an opening that you fall through and die in. Um, yeah, there's probably going to be some mobs down in here. Just saying. There's going to be a lot of mobs. And I may die. Um, maybe I should get... Uh, shield on my hotbar just in case. Let's grab that. Get this here. And in fact, I should probably put regular blocks of some sort down here. So there's going to be so many mobs. 
Man, there's gonna be so many mobs. And I don't have a... I do have a Wub Paxil with efficiency and unbreaking. That's gonna be better. It's a little more damaging at least. This is gonna hurt. Okay. I hear them. They can probably see better than I can right now. Let's actually put that there. So that I know which way I, I need to go. This, this darn... Oh, this stuff here just slows you right down. Okay, that, that was kind of a dead end. I'll let you know when I get to something of interest here. Hey, there they are. Cool. Uh, not really, but... <laughs> Let's get rid of this. Oh, there's a pit in front of him. No wonder they're not coming towards me. Okay. Yeah. I could probably set this here. <laughs> and and stop that spider from coming up here by accident. That that was lucky. Hi guys. I'll just let them do their thing. Because it would appear. <gasps> oh crap! I wasn't expecting that. Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. Maybe I can make it over. No, I can't. This is exactly how things went last time. I got poked by something from behind, like a baby zombie. Oh my gosh. Wow. There's just so many zombies. They just started spawning like crazy here. Oh, really? I'm trying to dig my way back out. Get out of here. Okay, can I please build? No, that's a torch. That's because I'm on a half slab. Great. There we go. And this. Okay. And back up. Whew. That was pretty close. It's pretty close. Put that there now. And I still have a half slab I can put on top of that. There we go. Now. Oh, and they can't fit through because there's a block above their head. How perfect is that? Oh, no wonder there's two spawners. Jeez. That's just rude. And all that, and it's a dead end. Ugh. That's pretty harsh. All right, found some more treasure. Boy, this just does not seem worth it at this point. There's these really weird books. I don't even know what to do with those. Luminous Comfort. Hey, you know, the books are just kind of silly at this point. If I really wanted to do, like, a book hunt, I think that's what I'd be doing. All right, I think I might just mine my way out of here at this point. Ow, get... Because the natives are not liking me, and I'm not liking them. That's just a simple fact. Alright. Onward and upwards to find another point of interest. Okay, that is interesting. Very interesting indeed. Let's, uh... Is that some kind of cross in the middle as well? That is really cool. Whoa. If I can head over... Oh, okay, it's just how the blocks are arranged. Whoa. Okay. Can I land without burning myself? I don't know. I don't think that I can actually go up any higher. Yeah, I can't get up high enough to get up there. So let's just try getting inside. Ooh, ooh, back up. Not quite that far. I just don't want to be too close to the weapon, to the the fire. Uh, could I? There we go. There we go. In fact, there we go. I feel much better now. <laughs> and I think, is there something down below? I, I don't know. Let's actually do a little bit of vein mining, shall we? And, uh, Remove a large chunk of stuff. Hey, look at all this zombie spawners. 
That water seems to be staying still. That is really awkward. That is really awkward. <laughs> I thought that there was some kind of like maybe a chest or something. Is that even water? Black stained glass. No, it's not water. Okay, these textures have completely and utterly messed with my visibility of what items truly are. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right, so I do see that there is a dispenser up here with potion of weakness and slowness and strength. Well, that's not bad. That's for eight minutes as well. Uh, heck, I might, I might actually just drink that right now. Let's get this and drink that. And then I can put this back in. What do we got? Fire Aspect 2. That could be good on a weapon, I guess? I don't know. It's better than this single half slab I've got, so I might as well do that. And is there anything above that? If there is, I can't really see it. Let's try pillaring up a bit. All right. Now, I should still be able to escape this area, <laughs> this, this thing, with my um, ship. Just need to put down enough blocks here that it does that I can still take off. There we go. And then I've got a castle over here that I figured we could head to next. Now, as I understand it, uh, that large Aztec temple that we saw, interesting world gen here, um, you could potentially come in from underneath. And try and just get a bunch of cool items that way. I was thinking that's a possibility. Maybe we could do that and then just dig in instead of uh, trying to fight our way all the way down through this incredibly way too crazy sized maze. This is an interesting spot. I need to check this place out as well. I'm not even going to bother with the door. <laughs> I know these days they're, they're, half of them are buried. There's an upstairs. Huh. Just an abandoned old building. Nothing underneath. Okay. Fair enough. Well then, continuing on to the castle. Now, I've seen these castle structures before, and in the past, they've got, like, some secret areas that, that they don't, like, have doorways that lead into, but you might be able to see them from above or something, so... I figure that's what we're going to try. We're going to try going up here. And then I'm going to descend on this walkway. Can I... There we go. So getting out is always tricky. And then we can look down on the rest of this place. Oh, close enough. Aha. Yeah, there's a little, little area in here, but I don't know that it has anything of value. Books. That looks like that's about it for that one. Let's head over to the other side now. Well, spider webs and bones. <laughs> Lots of spider webs. And yeah, apparently this place was uh, ransacked some time ago by invaders. Oh my gosh, the silent chest plate of luck. That's rare. Okay. We'll take this. Maybe we can get a, a complete set of strange, mysterious diamond armors. I, I don't know. It's a thing. Could happen. It seems this place actually does have all the places connected and open. So there's not really much to hide here, uh, if there is. Well, I guess the spot was kind of closed off, but I mean, it's just got some bricks and a few furnaces, nothing really of any note. But I think uh, it's time that I move on to another area. And that area is this village with the church that I did not get the opportunity to uh, uh, click the uh, teleporter on. So I feel we could probably land here on the blacksmith shop, and then we can proceed to there. Let's do just that. All right, so I did a quick teleport back, and dumped a bunch of stuff off. I figured I could check out this church and then uh, head on out to at least one or two other places. Oh, books. Books and paper. I'll take that. It's not too bad. 
Oh, and usually there's, yep, an enchanting table. I wonder if that can be used for any crafting recipes I'll need in the future. Either way, let's see. Yeah, I can use it for a luck modifier for environmental tech. That's different. Okay, well, onward and upward. And here we find what looks like an ancient graveyard. Okay. This is rather large and at least interesting. I don't know that I'm really going to find much loot here either. But it's at least worth an explore. Seems to be pretty run down on this side. There's a lot of ores actually generating in here. It's kind of weird. Um, I wonder if it generated after the structure. And therefore, because it's stone, it just like places the ores in those spots. It looks like this is the entrance here. This is black terracotta. I uh, will take that. And I just knocked down a whole bunch of frames, which frames are made with leather. And I'll need those anyway, so let's grab it. Oh, they're all used for arms of pews. <laughs> or chairs or whatnot. Okay. Cute. I found a very strange looking house here. I wonder if this is actually an entrance to one of those roguelike dungeons? Maybe? Kinda looks like it. This might be a good spot to put a uh, teleportation marker. If that's the case. Yep, it's got the stairs going down. So I think that this is a perfect spot. Let's uh, hmm, clear away a little bit of grass around this spot here. And then I can put this down on top of that. We're going to call this one the dungeon. Yep which means there's going to be lots of death and destruction down below, including um, my own. So let's head down and have a look. Usually the higher levels are very, uh, I don't know, uh, not as dangerous, but then as you start going down, they get more dangerous and trapped and everything. So I guess we'll find out. Oh, look at that. I already found the way down to the next level straight away. Okay unexpected and you never know if there's like a little secret pathway behind some of these little arches that you find along here sometimes there is sometimes there isn't that looks solid hey birthday cake it's not my birthday bunch of stuff zombie coming in anything good uh, the usual, I guess. Let's get rid of some of this other junk. Oh. There's a room. Okay, wasn't expecting a door. I was just like an auto smeltery. Okay. <laughs> kind of cool. Bit of a fireplace. Loot! Alright, oh, tempered blade, sharpness, unbreaking, mending. Highly durable. Interesting. Last protection, projectile protection. Hmm. I think I'm alright. This might be worth it though. That's a lot of iron and mine's about to break. Oh hey, I found an opening. <laughs> it's a bit of water. <laughs> I didn't realize that this place went out into the water. Okay, that's an interesting little detail. Yeah, look at that. We've just got an opening. <laughs> out into the ocean. It would appear on both sides. Okay. Dead end this is. Ah, now we're getting into knights and witches. Oh, nice. She just poisoned herself. I'm a fan of this. Well done, witchy.
Okay, this is actually relatively challenging to try and get around because of all the water that is almost invisible. <laughs> but once I can get past that, all's good. There we go. And nothing really case hardened pick. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Yeah, these are all higher levels, so the loot is not going to be as good as that with which is at the lower levels. So I might actually head down that way. Hey, rabbit's feet. Magma cream, blaze powder, nether wart. Oh, wow. Really good stuff. Uh, I've also been getting a bit of leather, which is pretty good. Pretty happy about that. Look at this. Got more. We even have soul sand, which I think I've already got plenty of. But this gives you access to a lot of different uh, just options. Oh, and a brewing stand. Actually, I don't have one of those either. Might as well take that. Okay, and here we get into the catacombs, which is actually really dangerous um, because there's spawners hidden in everything. And this is definitely a good place to get a lot of, oh my gosh, levels. <laughs> was that was that a husk? Oh my gosh, I wasn't expecting a husk. All right, and I'm out of torches. This is a bad, oh, and a wither skeleton. Okay. Things are starting to get a little bit more insane. I'm still doing okay, but yeah, running out of torches is not a good idea. So I think I might head up a floor. Can I get up a floor? There we go. And then teleport back home. Because <laughs> my inventory is starting to fill up, and I feel that this is probably a good spot to stop. So let's remove this, put another torch here, I guess. Where is it? My inventory is so full. It's already on my hotbar. Home sweet home. Oh, talk about a big change. Okay. Well, yeah. Whew. I think maybe next episode, instead of more dungeoning, I might uh, work more in the house and questing. Because I don't know that I got anything there. Yeah, I, I did not advance in any of the quests today. So I hope... You guys are okay with me <laughs> being as prickly as I am. <laughs> Look like a freaking porcupine. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give a like. And don't forget, we uh, stream most nights over on Twitch around 10 p.m. UK time. So we'll see you guys later.